probably less than a minute. You could make this whole card stacked up like this. You can choose pretty Stunning. pinks. You've got the blues there. I even did one that was all white because of course you can use this as a stencil oh, as well. Gosh. Here I have some of that pre-cut cardstock bundle that you have as well over on hsn.com, the Maker Forte. And I'm gonna use some of the bubble gum ink that we had earlier, press on top. Not only do I color my gorgeous white die cut, but I can use it and create oh, a stencil and then put stunning. that on a card as well. Alexandra, I gotta you tell you, pick. they are absolutely beautiful. Now guys, I only have about 700 in stock. This was saved for our show tonight. It is breathtaking. And I want you to see, like, look at some of the cards. This is all done with just glitter stock beautiful and they actually turned it the opposite direction check out this one only using a portion of it and what a f unbelievable finish and then that's all the layers put together you get dimensionality that i've never seen achieved before in a die cut system and again this is the slimline line design and so it's going to fit through all your die cutting machines i would recommend we do have the essential tools stamping bundle that's what alexander was talking about we'll try to put the information up there for you if you want to get their bundle design as well so Alexander, if you can take us through more ideas, it really is amazing. I, I just absolutely love what you did. It's breathtaking how dimensional these are and clever. Exactly, and like you showed, you can make an A2 card, you can make a slimline card, you can take just one layer as we did here. This is stenciled with that beautiful purple rain that was in the bundle we had over at lunchtime. And we put one layer on top and made this beautiful card, you can see, and it's just popped, a little bit of purple ink, one of the sentiments, one layer. This one here, we used it as a stencil with some glitter paste and then put one layer on top. This one here, we have multiple layers. So you can really, you know, choose. You can make it for holiday, you can make it for birthday. The white looks beautiful as a sympathy or a bridal. Um, you can theme it to the colors of an occasion. Um, and as I say, use one layer, multiple layers, cut a bit out, put it on a Christmas tag. You can have your tag, match your card or your gift wrap. So many different ways to use it. The idea is you've got five dies in here. Remember you have that QR code and all of these samples we're showing you, they're all pictured on the site. You can see all of that and get a guide of actually how to use it and make it. Same with the tools bundle all those things as well. Yeah, and I want you to see, I just, look, look at this one. This is the this is all five layers together. And if I just remove that black back layer, look at it, what the difference it makes. So again, you don't have to do them all together if you don't want to. It create, look at that, just that super fine, beautiful top layer. That's exquisite. And I, as I mentioned, I wanna show you, there are QR codes on everything, as Alexander just mentioned. So if we're going really fast, which we always do, um, you're gonna see tons of techniques and ideas to be able to do that. I love this. this is a stencil they just used one of the cutouts as a stencil so look you can go from here and then I'll show you here and then we'll wrap it up look how neat and different both of those looks are well Alexander we're so happy to have you and Baker Forte here with us thank you for hanging out with me tonight once again oh thanks Suzanne thanks for having us and letting us make making easy we love it all right thank you I love your earrings and your hair thanks <laughs> thank you <laughs> I just am bought like looking at those earrings when I need those. Okay, so we've got one more hour with me. I know um, uh, Adam is coming up to wrap up our big 24 hour event, but I've got still some really special things coming up. Next hour is very different. There's a lot of really cool goodies. All right, I'm gonna show you this, and this is this fantastic desk, and it is from Crafters Companion. Now, this has been on the air and it was launched months and months and months ago, like a long time ago. And then it took a long time to get it back. We actually have two different choices. It's an instant desk, which is wonderful because if you're really short on crafting space, you're like, gosh, I could really use a desk to really get organized. Once the ladies have gotten this, they've absolutely fallen in love with it. You don't have to leave it out all the time if you don't want to, but most people do. It's got two great big drawers on it and here's the really special part about it. It is on sale for literally tonight. You're gonna get this at home for $169.95 and for flex space. And that's amazing. For the size of this desk, you can have you have so much space on it. It's so very usable. Here's the story though, the price ends at midnight. So you only have a couple hours to take advantage of a really nice savings. That is called a this day only. Also, I was with my friend Lana, who I adore, and she went with me on a trip. She loves to take photographs, but she's got an old phone. I mean, she loves taking photographs. So she's got this old phone and she, we were beautiful fall scenes. And I was like, Landa, you really need to buy yourself a professional camera. Like you love to take photos so much. And the photos weren't good because her camera was old. Her photo, you know, her phone was really old. 
And I said, why don't you buy a new camera? So this is the one I think Miss Lana should buy. It's from Minolta. This is a whopping 67 optical zoom. Here's what's really neat. It's true SLR. We're talking about professional quality. And what's also exciting is it also does high definition 1080p video. 20 megapixel photos. That means rich, saturated, beautiful, sharp, stunning photos, plus high def video. So many of you guys are doing TikTok and you're doing Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube videos. If you want the ultimate camera that can give you the versatility you need for doing all of that, or even if you're taking pictures of your craft products, projects. I love when I go online and I'm on uh, you know, the crafting sites and you guys are posting your pictures. Why not make them beautiful? Because you make beautiful cards and things to show off, take some great pictures along with it. And that's coming up. In fact, it always surprises me that we leave the most important moments in our lives to taking video and taking pictures off of our phone. It doesn't make any sense to me. Have a real thing. We've got that great deal from Minolta coming up. All right. So I have another this day only. This is packed. All right. Remember this day only is only good the day you see it. So at midnight tonight, this deal will be done. It will go up to almost $150. Everybody needs a brilliant cutting system. It's one of the core items that all of us need if we're doing any kind of projects, including crafting, or you're doing um, scrapbooking, or even if you're a school teacher doing projects for school or whatever it might be. This one is brilliant. It's from Caterpillar. You're getting the carrying bag, which is beautiful, and you're getting the cutting system. My favorite part is you never, ever, ever have to buy another blade. I spend a fortune just getting those little teeny blades for my cutter. This one is self-sharpening. So you buy this one and you never have to worry about it again. All right, let's go back to Miss Beth, who's joining me at Kingston. She's going to tell us all about it. Welcome back, Beth. Welcome back, Beth. Long time no see. Right, and you know what? Thank We're you, not going to let you. you be done just yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I just want to stay here all day. Um, I love when you and I do trimmers together because you and I, we like have therapy about some of the terrible trimmers we've had in our lives. Right. Because having a good trimmer when you are a crafter is the most important part of creating. Because if you don't have straight lines and you're working on projects and you're working on cards and you're working on scrapbook pages, you can't make the projects you want. I just started right off the bat using a uh, glitter cardstock, which is very hard to get what I what I want you to do if you're on the fence about getting a trimmer get your trimmer out and see if it will cut the things that I am cutting with this because we have all have had trimmers where it's fuzzy on the edges or it snags when you're trying to cut something fragile this is a metallic um, mulberry paper Suzanne, you and I both know, normally when you cut mulberry paper, it has the little fuzzies on the ends, right? Mm -hmm. And it looks terrible and there's no way to get a straight line. With the Caterpillar Pro, you get straight cuts every time. And not only that, look at how tiny and intricate these cuts are. Now, what's great about this is, what, the reason this works is there's a rotary blade inside here and it runs against a steel blade here. So this is a two blade system. And by blade, I don't mean you're gonna cut your hand. They rub across each other. They come in contact with each other at every turn to be self-healing. Suzanne is exactly right. You will never have to replace another trimmer blade. This is a lifetime warranty. So what does that mean? It means you can cut intricate papers. It means you can cut, um, this is cardboard, by the way. This is like cereal board. Look at how beautifully this is cutting for me straight across. Look at how clean that is, Suzanne. Who, who has a trimmer that cuts cardboard this cleanly? And what's great about it is the way this is different, most of us who have the, the regular old trimmers, you hold it at the top, right? And as you're pulling it, it's sort of flexing to and fro. And if you push more pressure in the middle, it's, it runs on a plastic um, runner and so it starts to flex as it gets older which means it moves around you're never going to have that problem with the pro here's the other amazing thing about this for those of us with old eyeballs like me there's an led light here that yay. shows you exactly where yay i know right as i have glasses on top of my head that's great for a lot of reasons. Number one, those of us that use a lot of scrapbook paper, you've got that tag on the bottom, right? That tells, you know, where it's got the um, code on it and it has the brand name. If you don't know where that is cutting, if you don't know where your trimmer is cutting, you can easily cut into the actual pattern on your paper. But because I had the light to show me, that cut perfectly, and I didn't have to worry about losing the little paws or losing the little saying at the bottom. If you're using these, you know, these divided um, 
pages, you can see exactly where it cuts. It's going to show you exactly oh, where it's going to cut. Gives you a perfectly straight cut, right, every time. So you can use all of those divided page protector um, items, all of those really awesome. cool things. So we've got cardstock. We've done chipboard. How about vellum? Vellum is one of the hardest things to cut with your trimmer because it's so delicate. How many of us have torn vellum because of our trimmer? or not gotten a straight line. Look at how cleanly and beautifully this cuts. And we're going from, you know, fibrous paper to thick uh, products and it's everything is cutting like a dream. Here's the other thing you always wanna know about your machines. It, get your trimmer out, cut a thin piece of whatever you want to, then fold it in half. If it's not perfectly the same size, on both ends, that means your trimmer is not cutting straight. That is the number one test for trimmers and the Caterpillar Pro gets you every time. Okay, we did vellum. Let's talk to the teachers and moms in our lives. <laughs> Have you ever tried to cut construction paper with the trimmer you use for crafting? It is a nightmare because it tears and it snags and it ruins your blade, never with the Caterpillar Pro. So I want everyone to see what I'm doing. Instead of holding it like this, like we would with a regular trimmer, I'm resting my hand here on the side because that allows the rotary blade and the steel blade to rub against each other and give me that perfectly straight cut and perfectly self-healing blade. How many hundreds of dollars have you spent on oh, trimmers please. that within right, oh six gosh. months you've got to get a new blade or the blade's not cutting or you have one trimmer you use for vellum and well, one trimmer you up, use it's, for it's scrap It's tearing paper. up the paper or yes. cardstock when you're trying to cut it. Yes. By the way, I just want to show you guys too, I'm using just regular it. printer paper, but I'm going through multiple sheets right now. So, you know, if, you're, if you are that school teacher and yes. you've got to cut out a whole lot of stuff, maybe you're making, you know, holiday Christmas chains with the grandkids this year, the red and, you know, red and uh, green ones that are really cute and you hang on the tree. Also, I love it. It's got a tray on the side to put all your goodies inside there. Plus, you get a really beautiful tote to go with this. So if it is on the go, and I want to show you how bright that light is, it turns on and off. It's battery operated and it's right there built in. So you don't have to use it, but it's, it's a really clever extra tool to have to be able to see exactly and precisely where you're cutting. All right, we're going to wrap up on that one because we got to move on. Beth, I'm going to let you go for a little bit. Are you back with Adam later? I sure am. She's Not with the TS because it's mostly gone. Yeah, it's that's gone. it. If you still want the TS, guys, check it out on hsn.com. It'll be right there in the front page. And check out what Beth and the team at Diamond Press has put together. But don't miss out because there's not another presentation. So you can watch a repeat on video if you'd like to if you go to hsn.com. Are we moving on? So if you're wondering what I'm carrying around with me, this is my basket and bag of goodies. Sorry. The camera guys are so good. They just go wherever I go. Like, we'll follow her wherever she is. So, yeah, I'm carrying my goodies around only because it's all my tools that I use when I'm here on the air to do some crafting along with you. All right, so what are we doing? Just as a quick reminder, you guys asked for it. I can't tell you how many people have said, please give us a shipping deal on craft day. Because you know what? I'm with you. I love it. It ends tonight at midnight. We've got what? Eight, nine, ten, four hours. Eight. Yeah, four hours to go. And you can ship your entire craft order today only for about $10. That's it. And it doesn't matter if you checked out 10 times today. Our systems will calculate all the free shipping for you. But you have to get it all in before midnight tonight. And I know you guys, just like me, when you get that kind of a shipping deal, that's when we stock up. And it is our last and final big scrapbooking, or excuse me, crafting event of the entire year. So have fun, because we won't do this again until sometime next year. All right, we got to move on. And now I'm so excited because Sarah Davies is joining me. I've just been a fan of hers forever and ever and ever. She literally started at University in England, decided she's going to start this amazing creative company. Now she's everywhere. She's on the Dragon's Den. She's now doing the ver England's version of Dancing with the Stars. And I love it because today, pardon the pun, you're not working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Okay, that's what she just danced to this last week. <laughs> I did indeed have the big Dolly Parton wig, did me quick step, Suzanne, it was a good one, except it's not really 9 or 5, I'll finish at 5 a.m. this morning, and actually I started at 5 a.m. yesterday morning, so it's 5 till 5. 5 to 5, there you go, a well, long day, but happy anniversary, it's your 14th anniversary, and thanks yes. for being a part of my show, you know I love you, let's jump into our first item, which is going to be your fantastic layering die set, really creating amazing scenes. 
Well, let me just tell you, Suzanne, okay, so the two most popular sizes of cards, five by seven, six by six. I have got every layering die set under the sun and you can never get the perfect mat and layer for a five by seven or a six by six card. So let me show you, if you're wanting to do, for example, a card like this, and you just want, and I, sit, I do it with a paper trimmer, Suzanne, and it's never quite right. So I do it with a paper trimmer, whereby if I've got a six by six card base, I want just a very thin matte layer at the top, then I want the bigger matte layer, then I want my base card. And instead of having to sit and cut them out and then them never be quite right, all I've done is a die set to do it for you. So I've done it in the six by six format. And then look here, it's another super simple card, but can you see how perfect those mats and layers are? And yes, those of you who are a little miss perfect with the paper trimmer can probably achieve this on your own. I like to call myself Cyrus is a hand, Susan, and I still kind of get them this perfect, right? <laughs> it's the same if you're doing the five by sevens. How professional does that look? Because it's the five by seven with the exact mat and layer and then the exact perfect mat and layer the next level in. So if you can see here, what we've got is, this is the die set. And it just looks like a set of squares, but it's the fact that that outside one is perfect six by six. It is literally perfect six by six, and then it comes in quarter of an inch, and then it comes in quarter of an inch, and it comes in quarter of an inch, all the way right through to the middle. And exactly the same with the five by seven. Again, if there's 10 dies, the smallest one is two and a half inches, and the largest one goes right up to five by seven. So it will actually cut the whole of the base card for you. So for example, Suzanne, you want to do a nice simple card like this one here, right? Okay. All you're gonna do is it's gonna cut all of your mats and layers. So you're gonna get all of your bits of cardstock, and I've just got loads of you, lovely pieces of cardstock here, and you're just gonna take each one, and you're gonna start off first of all, and you're gonna do the very big outer die size, and you see that'll cut it perfect, and then you'll come down with the next one, and you'll take the next size, and it'll cut that a little bit smaller. The next one, you're then gonna come down with the next size, and it'll cut that a little bit smaller, so that then when you start piecing your whole card together, Suzanne, it's actually cut. If you want, it can cut you a base card. I actually used mm -hmm. here, can you see? Yep. This was per pearlescent card. I used the outer six by six die and it cut me the card to exactly six by six. No measuring, no Great. nothing, right? Yeah. And then the next layer cuts it down and cuts it down and cuts it down. And look how professional it looks, Suzanne when you've got the well, exact right size mat layer. You know what, Sarah, I want you to explain that because one of the most and the most important but easiest techniques in the world is mats and layering. It gives you the biggest bang for your buck and wow. And if you don't if you're new and you don't understand that, Sarah can you Sarah can you show us one that maybe doesn't have a layer yes. on it and you'll see it's kind of boring and then once you start building those layers how much it changes the look of anything? Well, anything Suzanne says. So basically, right, if we just had a basic card like this and we said, you know what, we really like that bit of paper, it just looks a bit plain and boring on its own. Right. Whereas actually, if what we do is we put a plain layer on the background first and then we leave a little bit of a border and put the next layer look on. Look at that. Look how it really draws the eye into the center. Guys, how this much is more huge. professional does that look it's, than it's, this? It's absolutely huge. And the problem is if you're a beginner, it is how do you how do you literally take a you could even take the last cutting board we have it and it takes a really it's it's a lot of hard work trying to get the perfect layer so it all fits beautifully. But layering is everything. One of the easiest ways to make anything you are creating look really good is add a second layer that comes out about a quarter of an inch behind the top layer. It's so cool. And you know what's really funny? They look really basic, but they're brilliant when you start working with them. So do not miss out on these. Save for our show tonight. These are brand new. It's the only airing all day, and you get 21 of them total. And you know what's also really funny? You use rectangles and squares so often in designs anyway. So even if you used them all separately, you're gonna find them come in, they'll be really handy as you start using these dies. Exactly. So, I mean, the way I saw it was most basic craft room people have a set of rectangle or square dies. But I can guarantee you they won't quite be the size that you need for that. I know I've had every set going under the sun, Suzanne. We've ended up making these because they just aren't available out there. You just can't pick up the exact right size for your five by seven and your six by sixes. And I just think if you're making a card like this one, okay, nice, very plain and simple six by six. It's the same if you go down the smaller sizes. Look how 
much more professional it looks when we've, instead of cutting the aperture with an, a, a pencil and a knife and measuring it out, I've literally used one die to cut the aperture. The next die up, the next size, cuts me exactly the right size acetate to go around the gap. The next die oh, cuts the exact right size to go in the inside. Oh, if I want great. this border, you use two of them. So all you're going to do is you're going to get one piece of cardstock, Suzanne, and you're going to say, right, we'll cut this size and this size together, right. and that will cut me the exact right size border to go around it. And it's perfect. all of that kind of planning for you that makes it perfect. Now, we do them in the six by six and then also in the five by seven size and the five by seven i think are even a little bit more unique you're not choosing you get both sets here so can you see what i've done here suzanne i started with a basic five by seven card but then if you want to cut an aperture in there i can jump down two sizes for example mm -hmm. and i cut the matten layer well, actually let's have a look i went down one size to cut the matten layer and I stuck that on. And because the dies are a little bit thicker, you can actually use them to cut through two layers. So once I then stuck that on, then I jumped down another size. Mm. And that next size is what gives me the aperture. Let's have a little look one more again with this one. And this is the beauty of them, Suzanne. You've got all the sizes. Look, that cut me the aperture. But I know That's that so the smart. distance here is exactly the same as the distance here. Right. And most other nesting dies don't, because they're not actually designed to give you nesting for a five by seven card, they're just a regular rectangle, you wouldn't get this equal border all the way around. That's and brilliant. then it's the same if you want to do the next layer. It's, I think from you being a crafter, Suzanne, just appreciate how this has made everyone's life so much easier. I mean, you, you'll be the same as me. Yeah. You waste so many pieces of cardstock trying to cut it. And I know it's an extra totally piece of work, do. guys, layering it up, putting it through the die cut machine, well, but it's worth it for the precise results. I, I mean, you do, you waste tons of it because if you just get even one side crooked, it screws up the entire parameter of what you're doing. Like it, everything looks weird and then you're trying to cut more off and it just, it's a nightmare. And I love the idea of making like a photo card out of that last one she did. That only took, what, two of the rectangular ones, pop a photo in the back, decorate the exterior, it's gonna look great. If you wanna frame pictures with this, it'd be perfect for that and then of course most importantly mat matting layering and matting is one of the basic key components to making any project any photograph anything you're working on look so much better it's so easy and she's made it even easier because of how well thought out this is all right 21 dies total stay on the line for that one i do want to remind you really quickly about our today's special now it will not be airing again tonight because we just don't have many left jared if we can do a quick update on the rose gold and gold what you're getting is the famous diamond press collection with the marquee which is a die cutting and embossing machine you're getting stamps you're getting $90 a beautiful concentric dies inside there you're getting stencils in there you're getting a whole ink set with the little daubers included and you're getting the organizational box with the dividers etc etc it's huge uh, in the gold there are 5-0 left, 50 left, and you also will get an auto ship with that that allows you to get extra filler items in different themes up through 2023. In the rose gold, there are 90 left, and both of those are in auto ship. If you want a single ship just to try that kit by itself, you can also get that as well, but I would definitely jump on the auto ship because goodies will come every couple of months through. Uh, 2023, which is pretty cool. And they're all really great themes and great surprises that support that first kit that you're getting. Okay, uh, we're moving very slightly over to the thing right beside me and Sarah's still gonna hang out with me. This is wonderful. And this is her uh, Create a Scene Edgeable Dies. Of all the dies Sarah does, and she just does, she did a Peacock one earlier today that just, I was blown away by it, right? She always, they always make really, really, what looks like it's complicated, they make it easy for you and me, but it's always really clever. And this is a series of dies that actually will create an incredible scene when you're using them. Now, here's your options on this one. You get four pieces of what's called Christmas Eve scene, which is this one. And you get four pieces over here, which is called the Bethlehem scene. And these are on sale for the first time. We have four flex. And please remember that $10 ship everything today deal ends in a couple of hours. So take advantage of it because you save a ton of money on shipping today alone. All right, Sarah, let's jump through these because I love you giving us both designs and they're very different. 
They, that's the idea, Suzanne. I wanted something really modern and then something really traditional. Now, I personally love scenes. I like to be able to tell a story in my card, not just always stick something flat. So with this one here, can you see, I've actually done three layers on the card here. And what we've done is we've put like the, the different parts of the story on the different layers. Oh. Now, that's where you could do it like on the inside of a card like this. Look at this one. This is the other scene. This is the Bethlehem scene now. And now what we've done is we've kind of zigzagged the front oh, of the card. Wow. So you've got the back layer, the medium one, and the front one. And the idea is within each die set, so for example, here is that Bethlehem scene. Wow. Each die set, it only cuts around the top. So you can see it starts cutting here, it goes all the way to here, but then it's like it's as though it's being cut off. So this tells the scene, and this can be as long or as deep as you want. And you've got three different scenes which are either individually usable or you can layer them up on top of each other to tell that story. That's the first one. You're not choosing here. You get both sets for $27.95. Oh, There's so the second cool. one. These are brilliant, Suzanne. And the thing is, if you didn't want this to be Christmas, just snip away the little snowman and then don't use the Santa Claus flying over the rooftops. Yeah, it could and be all welcome of a sudden, home it's just a beautiful to new, You could be welcome to your new exactly. house. Exactly. Yeah, that is really cool. In fact, cool. you know what? I can show you that. Okay. I can show you that. So here's how I like to use them, okay? What I've done is I've just taken some white pieces of card here. And if I bring the scene in, here is my individual scene die. So I'm going to pop the scene into the front of the card and then just hold it in place with a little bit of tape. Now, I'm just going to go nice and simple, Suzanne, okay. and cut it through the, ge the, the Gemini MIDI. So these will work with any of your die cutting machines. They're not big dies. They're even going to fit. If you've gone for the today's, special today they'll fit through the marquees no problem and um, really easy to use and work with all of your different machines now can you see that's cut the scene out Suzanne but it hasn't cut it away completely now what you can do is you could either cut that away completely and just be left with this or you can come in now I'm just doing this quickly you would obviously get your ruler and pencil out and do it a little bit neater than this but shows you the idea all right if I cut this away you oh, end up cool. with just that scene in the middle of your card and then all of these pop out now what i've done suzanne is i've done that one and i've just added a little bit of color oh, can you see so, cute. so i've added a bit of color now you know i said about making it non-christmasy all we do is come and take that little snowman off and then you wouldn't even know it was a christmas That's scene amazing. yeah we've just we've just literally just got rid of the snowman now you do the same with all the dice so that was with the background one with this one here then you've got a one with the two little houses on. So what I did here was, can you see, I had the two little houses mm -hmm. and then I just cut the rest of it away. So we've got just the two little houses. And then it's the same if you want to do it with the trees. So I had the two little trees here, cut the rest of the card away and then just inked it up. And now what you've got is you can tell a story. So we've got trees in the background, We've got some little houses in front of it. We've got the little houses that go on top of that. We're starting to build up that scene and tell the story. And actually, what I like to do is, look at this. I've just got a nice, pretty background oh, piece cute. of paper on the front. And if you take them, Suzanne, onto like That's a zigzag cool. edge. So can you see this here? If I was to stick these onto the, onto the back and then build up on the different layers of the zigzag and stick all these different pieces up, what you end up with is you end up with like a three-dimensional scene okay. where you've got the zigzag holding it together at the side. So if yeah. I show you the one that I've done, look at this card here. And from the front, you can see it's like you, you're looking into the scene, but I've got those different layers built on the different parts of the zigzag. Really clever, isn't it? And uh, this is it's just one clever. idea, Suzanne. I've got so many samples. Whether you're doing like showcase cards like this, maybe you're doing like a tent fold card like Cute. this one. These are That's the adorable. most professional looking cards that you'll have done and it's always about i like the idea of telling a story at christmas whether it's a as a card or a piece of artwork i mean a lot of these that i'm showing you here suzanne could be like pieces of artwork Ooh, to show people. that's beautiful there wow that's that, framed right and i put some little that's framed and i've put some little lights inside can you see something turn the lights off oh my god i'll turn the lights yes. on oh and that's it's in like a little stunning. frame as well that's beautiful yeah and this is where you could be taking it, Suzanne. Literally, wow. the sky's the limit. There are so many different things that you could be doing with this. I mean, that's a box, that one there. So again, it's going to fold flat to go in the envelope to send out to someone. And then when it stands up, it's going to make celebrate the real meaning of Christmas. 
beautiful designs. That is just so clever too. And you're getting both guys. So you're getting the more contemporary one. You can eliminate the Santa if you don't want to and just have this beautiful winter scene. And of course you're getting the nativity one, but all of them are included. And also what I thought Star too when I was watching you, let's say you're like, well, I'm not sure about the accordion thing. She has gazillions of YouTube videos that are available to teach you exactly how to do the techniques, okay? Like more than you could ever imagine. But even if you wanted to do pop dots just to raise those scenes a little bit, that would be really cool looking if you put it on a basic card. Well, yeah, do you know, actually, he used one of those basic cards that I've done, Suzanne, so I didn't even use pop dots on this one. I just did a little bit of gilding wax on the top okay. and flat laid them, and I did one on the inside, <laughs> wow. and then I did two on the front onto a piece of acetate and stood it up. And I even Perfect. think that looks really cool. professional. And, and I think you've undersold it, Suzanne, when we said gazillions. I think there's even more <laughs> YouTube tutorials than gazillions. You do know we generate uh, six and a half hours of brand new content every day here at Crafters Company. Every, wait a minute, every everybody. day? Every day. Oh every my day gosh. we film over six brand new hours of content wow. using all of these products. So you buy anything from us, and I can guarantee you that by the time you get it home, there's going to be tutorials whether you want advanced cards like these sort of things, or you want some of the more beginner cards, and they're all saved onto YouTube, literally every day, every bit of that content is saved onto YouTube. Okay, so guys, we're gonna wrap up on that. And again, remember, it is on sale right now, so that's perfect. Let me put my big box that I've been carrying around back here. And we've got one more thing with Sara before we're gonna let her go for a couple of minutes, and that is gonna be her work desk. Um, when this first launched, it literally sold out very, very quickly because when Sara decides she's gonna tackle an idea, she really does a great job. We have it back in stock. Jared, you're gonna have to help me to see if we have the pegboard available. I am not sure. We have it out here. I just wanna double check. What you're buying right now, as of this day only is this incredible instant desk with drawers. Now you have two choices. The one I have in front of me, this is gonna be the white marble color top. And then the second one that I have is a beautiful white wood color. So there's white wood right here. And then this one, I'll move this aside, is gonna be your white marble top. If you wanna get the pegboard, we've been sold out of the pegboard for a long time. It's back and it attaches very easily to the back of the table. And with this table, you get two really big working drawers and you saw that video it's easy to pop it up and you have a massive workspace here and Sara thank you for doing a collapsible table but it's not dinky it's not squishy you made it very large and that's surprising because it unfolds so easy we did, Suzanne, and I'll be really honest, this shows you the difference when crafters make products for other crafters, yes. okay? So <laughs> our, right. you can go and buy any amount of cheap desks that you can uh, kind of like self-assemble at home. Could they take a Gemini Pro? Absolutely not. Are they the right size so that your drawers under here are 12 by 12 and can take the weight of all your 12 by 12 paper pads? No, absolutely not. You stand no chance doing it. The idea is here, Suzanne, I know what you're gonna do with this desk. I know the paces you are gonna put it through and it has been designed by me and my team for exactly what you need. Now, the great thing today is, obviously you're making the huge saving and if you've got anything else, Suzanne, while that shipping deal's on, you wanna see how absolutely massive the box that this comes in and it costs a fortune to ship. However, you're not paying for that shipping today, you're getting it. Those of you, and there are thousands of you out there who got the desk and have been waiting for us to restock the those accessories. Every single one of them is back in stock on the website. It's really important, Suzanne. This is a big item for us here at Crafters Companion. And I'm sorry that we sold out of everything like the, the hour or whatever it launched, mm -hmm. but they're back in stock now so you can restock. So whether you're getting the extra pegboard to go on the back here, whether you're wanting like the, um, the whiteboard, maybe you're wanting all these extra little pots to be able to store and put your extra things on. We've got all of them. Go and have a look on the website. Everything is in stock on a HSN. Do you have com. your lazy now, Susan back too? Uh, oh, I don't know. Actually. Everybody wants it was that. Off the order. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'm being told it's coming and gone straight back out. You've oh, kind of okay. got to be quick with some of this stuff. Yes, and that'll be do. the same with the white. It'll be the same with this pegboard. It'll probably end up selling out again today. I know how many thousands of people were Didn't waiting for it, it to come back into stock. Yep. Yep. Now, what I will tell you, Suzanne, is so here's the thing, right? We call it the instant desk. And my vision is not that you're going to be putting this up, taking this down every day. What my vision was is I wanted a really 
really sturdy item so that this is something that you're probably going to have set up all the time in the spare room for example and for that once or twice a year that you get relatives come over to stay and your husband says to you get all of that craft clobber out of the spare room we need space for the, the <laughs> guests that are coming it literally folds down in just a couple of minutes it's a quick and easy fold away job it falls down really small and it slides down the side of the cupboard but it's not that i'm envisaging you'll get it in and out every day this is your full-on craft workstation and go and have a look on hsn.com there are so many five-star reviews mm -hmm. people are saying literally sarah knows what we needed she's thought of absolutely everything there's a couple of one-star reviews on there people saying i can't believe you haven't got the pegboard in stock <laughs> hopefully then people will be really happy now and i think it's nice to have you've got pegboard on the back and you can also put pegboard on the side and it's magnetic suzanne so those of you that like to put your dies on here you're going to be able to add your dies under here there's loads That's of different great. things that you can do with that so it's just it's just a brilliant way but i think the important thing is you'll see from the assembly videos that we had there when we showed you it just easily assembles it's got like little fixes underneath here so it's going to assemble really quickly there you go there's our hillary Opening the sheet now, Hillary did it on her own. So you just open up the legs, slide these into place, and there's a little nut and bolt on each corner. Once the base legs open down, it claps, clasps together in the center, and that's it. That's it set then. The drawers just slide into place. You've got two of those drawers. And what I like about it, Suzanne, is there's a nice big open area for you to be able to sit in the middle of here. So I don't know about you, but I like to have, I've got like a wheelie chair at home. I like to be able to wheel in, wheel out. Uh, if you've got any of the Tiffany craft cards, as well they're going to wheel underneath here work alongside this so you can have a massive workstation or you can just work on a small part of it and little things like uh, can you see how deep the desk is Suzanne oh gosh and yeah. that's because I know you want to be able to work on it at the front bit where you're sitting but then I want plenty of depth on the board here so that I can have my Gemini machine I can have my cricket machine I can have whatever you know my paper trimmer all this stuff can fit right in front of me so you've got space there's quite Quite often these desks are just a little bit too narrow. Yes, well, you're right. You don't want that narrowness. You want to be able to fit. And again, I know how much clobber you've got. I've got the same amount of clobber in my house. <laughs> this way, I mean, I, on mine, Suzanne, I have all of my pen trays stacked up and I have all my pens organized. Mm -hmm. You've got space to have your pens in there. All these mats, by the way, guys, are all extras as well. So things like the self-healing mat, back in stock. The idea is that the workstation can split into three sections. So I like to have my self-healing mat at the front, right underneath where I'm working. I've then got my messy workstation if I want. So if I'm doing any like inking or blending or working with watercolors, I have the messy workstation protecting the surface there as well. Although it is a lovely surface that you can easily clean up. I wouldn't want to get like my alcohol inks on it or anything, but it is a nice wipeable surface. And then like you said, if you've got your gem and I, whatever it is, you've got space at the end and it can take that weight, Suzanne. That's the beauty of this. It's designed to be able to take the additional weight of all those machines that you've got and just be able to work with them, but also have the depth to be able to fit them on the workstation. That's the you big difference. You never feel crowded on this at all. It's 66 by 31 by 28 inches. So it's got a ton of depth and a ton of length to it. Perfect height. And as Sarah mentioned, go to hsn.com, grab all the accessories. Just type Type in um, instant desk and you'll see all the accessories that come up in our search engine and grab all these while they're available because these are really limited and they've sold out and they've been sold out for months and months and months. All right, Sarah, I'm going to let you go just for a little bit. Happy anniversary and thank you for joining me in my show tonight. Thank you, my dear. It's been wonderful to see you, and I'm back up with Adam at 10 o'clock. All right, we'll see you at 10. All right, we are not done yet. Oh, two things. One, I want to talk about our HSN credit card. If you guys want to get our credit card right now, it's a great time to do it, and here's why. Our credit card's going to save you $40 off that very first purchase when you apply and you use it. Maybe you want to get that crafting table. How about saving an extra $40 already off our This Day Only price? Also, I do want to mention the today's special one more time. We will not be seeing it anymore today because, unfortunately, 
unfortunately it is so limited. This is your last and final look at it was last hour. What is it? It's a great, great set from Diamond Press. You get the marquee die, uh, die cut and embossing machine. You get a ton of stamps, $25 value. You get 45 dies that are concentric and they're beautiful. That's $90 in dies alone. You get a total organizational system with the box, the drawer, the little dividers, and right there, you're getting like 20 of the plastic folders to put all of the stuff we collect in crafting all in one place. Beyond that, you're getting stencils, you're getting the dauber, you're getting the dauber tabs, and you're getting eight uh, ink, uh, ink blocks with it so you can use the stencils and be just incredibly creative. The only problem is you gotta get it before midnight because unfortunately, the price is gonna jump dramatically. The retail value on the one that's available is $279, we're at $134.95. Here's some updates. If you want the gold marquee with the matching box, there are 45 remaining for the whole country and that's with the auto ship. If you want the rose gold with the auto ship, there are only 80 now remaining and I've got a few hundred left in the teal you'll see right there. We will not be taking another look at this. Now, if you do not, do not want the auto ship, you can certainly just get the kit itself, but again, it's gotta happen before midnight. If you do want the auto ship, you'll get shipments every couple of months into 2023. And I think that came out to, what was it? $34, $32, I can't remember off the top of my head. I remembered all that off the top of my head and I can't remember that last little bit. Do you remember what it was on the auto ship? Jared? Well, that would be the Today Special. No, the auto ship. $26.99, I'm sorry, $26.99. And again, every couple of months you get more stamps, more folders, more goodies, more love and more themes and designs. So you wanna get any of those options, but you've gotta do it before we hit midnight tonight because unfortunately the deal's gonna be over. Also, please don't forget, cause it's such an important thing and you guys ask me all the time. I get more questions and more requests of please do a shipping deal on crafting. Cause I'm a crafter too, I love a bargain. And we've got it until midnight night tonight, you will spend no more than one $10 bill to ship everything you've ordered today. And it doesn't matter if you completed your order hours ago or you're wrapping up your orders now, you will never pay more than $10 to ship everything from crafting today alone. But it's so important that you listen because unfortunately at midnight, that's going to go away and then you're going to have to pay for shipping every single thing you buy tomorrow in our crafting world. So definitely take advantage of it tonight. All right, so I talked about a story earlier. I went with my friend Lana. She joined me to go up North, fall colors were absolutely amazing. She loved, I've never seen anybody want to take photos more than Lana. And she was using an old phone. So here we have these beautiful fall colors and she kept saying, Suzanne, let me borrow your phone. Let me borrow your phone. And my phone's not that great either, but at least I was taking better photos. And I said, Lana, you love taking photos so much. Why don't you get a real camera? This is my Lana cam tonight. This is the one, if you want to go to that professional level, not only to get beautiful photography, but also to get phenomenal video, this is it. And there's so many people doing Instagram and Pinterest and TikToks, and you need one unit that can do both photos and videos really, really well. Because no one wants to watch a bad video online. And if you're trying to be a TikTok famous person, you gotta shoot really good quality. It's time to upgrade. And I never understand why people will go to the most important events in their life, like graduations and babies births and everything else, it's weddings, and they're shooting video and photographs on their dumb phones. I mean, come on. You want to get something great and we have an awesome, awesome camera from Minolta. I got a couple colors for you on this one too and you're saving some money. This is featured price tonight. You're choosing, do you want to get the black, the red, or the purple? So here's the black, here's the purple, and here's the red. If you want the purple, which is gorgeous, that happens to be my favorite cover, color, there's 180 left and that is the most limited. All right, Joe Harrison is joining me. We're going to go over this camera. And Joe, isn't it true? <laughs> Do you ever go to an event and you look at people and it's the most important thing, the kids in the Christmas play, it'll never happen right. again. And never. they're shooting video from the back of the auditorium with their phone. Right. <laughs> exactly. And you're so far and you look at the photo and you're like, well, my kid's somewhere in the middle yes, of the photo. Like yes. you don't even see them in the photo. <laughs> the great thing about having a camera that's designed just to take pictures and high definition video is you are going to get some of the best memories you've ever had. And the biggest deal about this one is when you see it, 
This is not a small camera. This is a professional style digital SLR. The lens on here gives you 67 times optical lens. The lens on here is massive. The big, what you're able to do now to get close, whether it's your kids up on stage, whether it's your kids in graduation, whether you're having people over at the house and you don't want to get anybody's face, you can get a little bit closer, or you're out and about with nature, you can now get 67 times closer. So just to put that in numbers, if you are standing and you see something 670 feet away, you can make a scene like it's 10 feet away. And by the way, 670 feet, that's two football fields. So imagine something, two football fields, making it seem like it's just 10 feet away. So I'll show you kind of what that looks like. So when I was down at, um, went to New York City, and we had a picture, um, here I am on the bridge, and I'm looking at the downtown New York City. And they had the, the Freedom Towers over there, there's the Brooklyn Bridge. You can see there's, uh, there's a barge down there, but there's also a tugboat that's pulling the bridge away. Well, as I zoomed in a little bit closer, I could see that now there's five little boats there. I'm starting to see the rust stains. So I'm starting to zoom a little bit closer. And granted, I'm still standing so far away. And then I noticed, oh, there's a guy's face. He's actually in that porthole. So now from all the way on the bridge, I can actually zoom in even closer and actually see that guy's face on there. And keep in mind, it started out for me standing so far away and I was able to get that much closer because you have 67 times zoom. It's just incredible. And if you're relying on your cell phone, your cell phone probably has a two times zoom, maybe two and a half if you're lucky. Now we're talking about getting really, really close to the action. But the other thing about it is you are getting that 20 megapixels. So not only do you get close, you get amazing shots with 20 megapixels. So as soon as you're right, you know, you don't rely on a cell phone. It's great to have and convenient, but when you when the photo really matters, this is the camera for you. Okay, guys, look at that. Look how crazy this is. Are you guys still on my shot? Because I can't see it. Okay, watch. Okay, that is one ornament on the tree. Now I'm going to zoom back really fast so you can see how far away I am. That oh is the, my goodness. Look how crazy that is, you guys. That is the power of that zoom. Standing way over here, I was able to zoom in to that little teeny ornament, and it's in focus, and it knew what I was doing. You know what I really liked about this, too? You can do a traditional mm -hmm. SLR. Like, you can take a photo like this, yes, you can. focus, and all that. But it's lovely that you have this swing-out viewfinder, so I could do it just standing here, and I could look at this way. If you want to do a photo and you want to be a part of it, you can see what's mm -hmm. happening by flipping it over that way. Really a smart design, but a true SLR, which is going to give you much more accurate pho photography, much richer, more beautiful pictures. And here's the thing, Joe, you know, all the people who are trying to make it big or even trying to post stuff, I mean, everybody's posting stuff on TikTok and Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook and YouTube. Oh, yeah. Many people do not have great success with it because their photographs and their video looks terrible. It's time to invest and it's a small investment, especially if you're trying to kind of be a something online to invest in this and have better quality. In fact, have much better quality, both photography and both video. This does both equally as well. It's 1080p. So that's like your high-def TV on the wall, the kind of quality you're getting in this Minolta. Now, remember, I have three colors. I have the black, I have the red, I have the purple. The purple is the most popular. Yay, my purple people. We're down to 170 in the purple. In the red, I have about, I don't have many of the red left either, do I? Oh, 300 of the red and then how many of the black? I have 340 of the black. Great Christmas gift. And one other quick note mm -hmm. I didn't mention is guys, you have until the end of January to return this. So if you have someone who really does want a beautiful camera and they want a beautiful video camera, grab this. They can use it all, you know, all after Christmas. And if they don't love it, they can send it back at the end of January for a refund. But get the price because the feature price ends soon. It's not forever and ever. All right, Joe, I know you've got a lot Lot more features to share with us so where do you want to dive into next well i talk about not only is this an advanced camera series but it's also it's fully automatic so you can really make some fine adjustments to it or if you see the little dial on here you just put it on automatic and let it do its thing but there are 14 different scene modes that are included there's face detection there's a mode for nighttime there's a mode for fireworks there's a mode for sunset i'm going to show you what it looks like sometimes when you end up taking them a picture at nighttime, this is kind of what it looks like. The flash goes off and whoever's standing three or four feet in front of you, that's illuminated. But what's behind you, you have no idea when you go back to look at that photo. But watch what night vision with the Minolta camera can do. You can go from that to that. It's like there were no lights on the city, now every light in the city is turned on. And that's the night vision mode. And look how 
everything is still in focus. Sometimes when you take those night shots, everything's out of focus and it's blurry. And that's how great this camera is, is that you're able to not only capture those memories, but it doesn't matter what time of the day that you're able to capture them. Now, I took my kids down to the zoo. My kids love seeing all the birds and you can't really get too close to them. You gotta stay on your fence line. But there's an owl, a beautiful owl, that turned his head around and looked right at me. And he's standing right there. And I wanted to zoom in to be able to see him. But I went from that to oh there's gosh. the owl right there. Oh my that guy gosh. Is massive. I mean, that's you can a think great about picture. It. Sometimes there he is right there. I mean, he just turned around, took a look at me, and I took that picture of him. Oh, and wow. you can see, even though 67 times zoom on here, the 20 megapixels, it makes a difference. You can see every individual feather. You can see how sharp his beak is. It's just incredible to be able to have that so you can go from that all the way to that. Now, what if you want to capture something that's a little bit closer? There is a macro mode. My daughter loves this mode because she loves taking pictures of flowers. So we have a flower plot, uh, pot here. It's a little cactus with some flowers. But as I get super close to it, sometimes the camera doesn't focus. Well, now oh your mode also does. Look how beautiful wow. that is. So I go from there he is on the pot all the way there. <gasps> you can see just a beautiful petal. That's amazing. It really is stunning. So Suze, whether you're uh, 600 feet away or you're just six inches away, it really captures the best photo. And there's a whole bunch of different uh, modes you can be in down here. And I know Joe's going to go over mm -hmm. them. Let me show you our package because that's important. It's always exclusive and we always have an, a, a great bundle. So with this one, you're getting the camera, you get a 10 or 16 gigabyte memory card. That is included. So you've got plenty of space on the card for video and of course for photos. And of course you can just keep adding more cards to it. So that's included in our exclusive. You get the neck strap, the lens cap, the battery, the AC adapter, the USB cable. You get a camera case. We even give you the camera case. Plus, you're going to get cloud storage and Ribbit Premium. Those are just little bonus goodies that we've thrown in. A manufacturer's warranty on this. And right now, you've got five flex pays. So don't let another holiday event go by where you're trying to take the photos with your dumb, dumb phone. I just, I don't understand it. It could be the football game and your kids, you know, running for the touchdown and you're trying to get the video on your phone. You can't zoom in on that and really get a great shot but you can when you have this Minolta because it's so powerful. I do want to exactly. talk a little bit about video because so many people are trying to post online and they need video. And it's expensive when you have to buy one camera to get a good photo and you have to buy a whole different system to get good video. I love it Minolta puts them both in one. Exactly right. Just It's one of the 14 different modes that are built into it. You can take some incre absolutely stunning video because it's 20 megapixels, because it's Minolta who's been around for 80 years. Just look at the colors popping off the screen. It's absolutely stunning video that you're able to capture. And not only just video, it actually has two microphones. You're getting stereo sound too. So if you're having a conversation, you're at a concert, the audio is going to look really, really incredible. And Suze, you mentioned a lot of people taking videos and photos for TikTok and for Instagram and uploading that. This also has Wi-Fi uh, wi built into it. So if you want to be able to take those memories from your digital camera, you can wirelessly sync them to your cell phone and still be able to share them on TikTok and everything else. It's just that it's going to look a million times better than your cell phone. And so many modes that are built into this that really make it look good. Let me switch over uh, for a second. Because there really are, uh, really, Minolta really makes it easy. There are a lot of things that are built into it. And if you just want to point and click, Minolta is going to find the best shot for that situation that you're in. But if you know that I'm going to take a picture of a beautiful sunset, I'm on that vacation cruise, I'm going down to Florida, I'm seeing the beach, I want to make sure it looks perfect, there is a sunset mode that is ready for you. If you have the kids over, if you have family over, there's a portrait mode that captures the faces and makes sure that everybody is in, is in focus. It also finds, uh, finds the faces, too, to make sure it's there. There's also panorama mode that's included with it. So many great things that you can have fun with this one. But when you put the key specs together, this is 67 times zoom, incredible optical zoom, not a digital zoom, but it's also 20 megapixels. So if you want to take some pictures, I'll show you, I've got a picture here. So we, um, we're out in the desert and you can see the, we're on the rocks and there's the mountains in the background, but we wanted to get a little bit closer to the action. So, okay, we've got the zoom on there. So now you take that 67 times zoom, get a little bit closer, but here's the cool thing about having 20 megapixels. If I took this shot and I was happy with it, but then when I got home, you know, especially talking about crafting Sue's, if you just want to crop that out and make that a single photo, you can crop that one photo out. Because it's 20 megapixels, if you crop the photo, it's not going to be fuzzy. You're getting so much detail, so much resolution, so you can go from that photo to easily crop it out. Because sometimes we take pictures with our cell phone, 
And then you're like, oh, it yep. looks great on a four-inch screen. Right. Then you print it out. You're like, whoa, it doesn't look so good anymore. And then if you try cropping it, forget about it. It's all fuzzy. This one, editing your photos and blowing them up, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you, there's not a phone out there that replaces the quality of having a beautiful camera. There just simply mm -hmm. isn't. I don't care how much you spend, and I don't care if they do commercials showing all the cool scenes. Those phones don't have a powerful optical zoom. Their zooms are terrible. It could be a $1,000 phone, and the zoom really stinks. It's not good. And here we are trying to get the kids in the school play, or you're all the way back in church, and you're trying to get the bride and the groom in some great video. You're missing everything. You're like, oh, can you see little John? Johnny's the third row over. He's the pumpkin back there. No, don't do that. And we, I, it just drives me crazy when everyone's got their camera up and they're trying to take video or take fake photos with it, especially like in an auditorium setting or you're going to a concert or it's a sporting event. Bring something that's real. Bring something that's going to give you the power and bring the name of Minolta with it because you're going to get the quality that you know. That is a name that is just renowned when it comes to making beautiful cameras. All right, if you want the purple, it is almost sold out. So so if you're a purple person like I am, I love purple. How cool is this? This is almost completely sold out at this point. So I wouldn't wait too much longer in the purple. Then your other two choices are going to be black and they're also going to be red. If you're going to do an awesome gift idea, if you want to really encourage someone who's very creative, they want to really get in and explore videography and photography. Again, it's the perfect one-two combination. And Joe, I'm telling you, everybody is trying to post nowadays. And they're trying to mm -hmm. post either on Facebook just for the cute pictures of the grandkids or right. they're trying to be a TikTok star, right? You've got to have the right equipment. And what happens, people start and realize no one's looking at what they're making and they immediately right. invest thousands of dollars trying mm -hmm. to get better video and better photos. You might as well just get a Minolta like this and it gives you the best of both worlds. Well, there definitely are a lot of digital SLR style cameras that are like this where the body, just the body without the lens, you can easily spend this amount of money. The point. fact that Minolta is including that 67 times optical zoom you want to get close to the action. Doesn't matter, you know, if you're trying to shoot something at your house or you're going out and about in nature. I even think about graduate uh, graduation. I remember they'd always tell us write something on your cap so your family knows which one is you mm. because you can't tell who anybody is. <laughs> right. With this, anything 670 feet away is going to look like it's 10 feet away. So you can see something two football fields. And just to give you an example of it, as we were in New York City, here we are. And we're looking down uh, towards the um, Empire State Building right there in the back. Now, if I took this picture with my cell phone, I could pinch and zoom, and I still wouldn't be able to see the uh, Empire State Building. But with a little bit of zoom, I can zoom in on the guy that was standing right there. Oh, there's the Empire State Building. Now <laughs> I can perfectly see it. And you think about, there he is way down there. I mean, he's, he's about the size of my thumb. Oh and there my he gosh. is, and I've already zoomed in but if i want to get closer i saw there's a bird sitting on his head i can go <laughs> all the way to that like it, it's incredible how much close and i didn't take a, i didn't take a step forward i just zoomed in and that's the great thing about minolta there's even image stabilization so sometimes when you zoom really far out even the slightest little movement that will make it shaky soon that even the image stabilization is built into it to make it better for you and the other thing too when you get this at home it does have a beautiful three inch display that's on the back side. A lot of people love looking at that, but if you really wanna take the best photos, there's actually, uh, look through the viewfinder that's right above this. Cause anything you see in here, that's what the picture looks like. A lot of times we're used to taking pictures with our cell phone and you kind of are looking, you see everything around there. You really don't, aren't focusing on the photo, but when you put that up to your eye and that is the only thing that you're seeing, that's the way professionals shoot it. So, you know, if it's in the shot, you're getting it. And like we mentioned with 14 different scene modes, you're going to get the perfect shot every time. Or if you just want to have fun, put it on automatic and Minolta will make that picture look fantastic for you. And you know what? I'm assuming there's built-in flash on the top of this, correct? Built-in flash as well. Even though low light situations, it'll absorb the light too. So you don't even need flash in the nighttime scene. But yes, flash is also included. I love it. Well, Joe, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. It's great to see you My as pleasure. always. Thanks for having us. All right. Thanks, Joe. And by the way, guys, purple's almost gone. I have the black. I have a red. Again, exclusive configuration. Here's what's happening, guys. Go to uh, HSN's Facebook page. And at 9.30, I'm going to leave here and I do what's called an after show. And it's very cool. We launch brand new creative items. I craft along with my guests. And we have more time to show you and explain what's coming up. And I have four great items tonight that have never been seen on the air before. That's HSN's Facebook page. I'll go live in a half an hour. So join me over there. And you guys are a big part of that because I try to get all 
all your questions in, and we get hundreds and hundreds of comments and we have a lot of fun. So join me in a half hour, HSN, HSN's Facebook page for my live show. And also, if you want to see all of our crafting goodies, just go to hsn.com. I mean, there are thousands of products, the vast majority we never have time to get to on the air. You'll be pleasantly surprised. And you've got to remember, get all your ordering in before midnight tonight, East Coast time. Why? because you will spend no more than one $10 bill to ship your entire order today. So for those of you who've let me know over the weeks that you wanted it, we did it for today for the big and last big crafting event we have of the year. Adam, I see the handsome, oh so talented and oh so crafty Adam coming up next to wrap up our day. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> Discover a world of beauty like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me every Wednesday night for a beautiful new routine. Why do I always do my holiday shopping in HSN? That's easy. FlexPay. FlexPay is like Santa's little helper. It allows me to get everything on my gift list now. And make monthly payments. With no interest or fees. FlexPay takes the stress out of paying for all of my holiday shopping at once. Because every budget needs a little flex during the holidays. Bam! It's our biggest foodie event of the season. <sighs> HSN's Let's Cook for the Holidays kicks off with celebrity chefs Curtis Stone and Wolfgang Puck for 24 hours of culinary deals and gourmet food all on four flex pay. Iron Chef Bo Mack makes his debut and don't miss the premiere of celebrity chef Emerald, who has returned with brand new ways to cook like a pro. I'm back at HSN, where we always kick it up a notch. All day Friday on HSN and November 12th through 16th,